as all things with me, we started on a particular path and we started moving in a particular direction with this class. And as we started moving, some things happened that changed the path. And so one of my philosophies is that I never resist an opportunity to bring you something that I think you'll need. We had a huge uh, session on campus this morning. Basically, all of the infrastructure in the whole country for design and manufacturing was actually here at UC Irvine. As you all know, and as I've been telling you, we got three big challenges in front of us. We got these three major forces that are creating an, a tremendous challenge for the country and tremendous challenge for all of us. And it starts with the fact that we got a population that's now over seven billion people in the next 10 years will be eight billion. We got a global market now. Many countries, no matter what their political stance is, it could be capitalism, it could be socialism, but they all embrace free market principles. And what that means is you're now competing against all of those countries and all those people. And then finally, because of the speed at which we can now communicate globally, distance is dead. When distance is dead, that means that now you're not competing against kids from uh, Cal State Long Beach and UCLA and USC, but you're competing against students from uh, IIT Bangalore, students from uh, uh, Singapore, and students from uh, China. One barrel of oil was $10. Was $10 in the year 2000. You know how much that same barrel of oil is today? It's been as high as $147 for that one barrel. This is just since 2000. Overconsumption is a huge problem. We know that our most productive wells are in depletion globally. And we need to discover an additional 5 million barrels per day just to meet, just to break even. So why do I bring this to you? Because these are the problems that you're going to inherit. And these are the problems that we've left for you. The main reason for this class is to put you in a better thinking position as students so that when you leave here, you can do more exciting problems. You'll take on greater and larger challenges. And those greater and larger ch challenges will enable you to solve these bigger and bigger problems. Engineering is really about building stuff for people. Engineering is fundamentally about problem solving and it's fundamentally about design. The Engineering 98 course put what we know in the classroom before our eyes. This course is really about helping freshmen understand what it is to be an engineer. Overall, I feel like I have a better way of thinking about things than, say, someone who doesn't have a design course.